Hello, racing fans. This is the Turfway Park Report for day nine of the Winter Spring Meeting, Friday, January 17, 2020. Eight races on the card, highlighted by the featured fifth race, the 36th edition of the $75,000 guaranteed four go stakes, full field of 12 to go six and a half furlongs, and uh, the poly track is fast. Temperature at first post is in the upper 30 degrees. The opener on this Friday card is a filling mare two cents at eight claimant event to go a mile field of nine to race. The favorite, heavy favorite, number three, Lucky at Justice on the big class drop for Billy Murray. Shameless five stuck on the fence, Morty up in the outside, then a margin of four, bang, still tracking from six, about seven off the pace, a half mile carved out, 48, and two, comfortable fractions set by fun sucker but the lead is now two links as lucky at just as the favorite moves a closer second three links for the back to the inside two ducks lifting off morty's right alongside her as they continue to race around the turn up Fun Sucker still there. Lucky at Justice, just three quarters of a link right on her flank now. Up the inside, two ducks lifting off is rattling along the rail. Three quarters, 13, they turn on down. It's been all Fun Sucker thus far. Turns on down on the wrong lead, about two to the good. But here's Lucky at Justice, who's finally found her best ride outside the 16th pole. Fun Sucker still finding. Lucky at Justice trying to get to her to the outside. And Fun Sucker all the way up top on the class shop wins by almost two. Lucky at Justice was second. Two ducks lifting off third. Don't hold Queens was fourth. And number nine, Fun Sucker defeats the favorite. Broke Sharp was able to cross and clear and never look back. She takes them all the way up top and she absolutely loves the turf play service. Picks up her fourth lifetime victory from just seven starts here. Fun Sucker for Juan Chavaria, the owner. Adolfo Mosias trains and Luan Machado up top. Fun Sucker in odds of 10 to 1 wins $23.67.380. Second number three, Lucky at Justice. Third to six, two ducks lifting off. And a fourth was number two, Don't Hold Queens. Exact to 23, excuse me, exact to 59.60. The Trifecta, 97.60. The Superfecta, $1,959.40. Running time, 139 and 2. Tonight's second race, Maiden Claimers, 30,000 to 20, the claim attack, six and a half the distance. Scratch 11, Moonflash, the favorite, big class dropper, number seven, My Sweet Babu, will be carrying the Jeffrey Bloom Silks. They are racing. Awkward beginning for Flint and a horrible beginning for debuting Spike and Bowl. Fast start though for a busy ride with the blinkers on the day. Displaying speed up the inside comes Dine Dropper, Dr. Albert Keat up two. Up on the outside, Maya Sweet Babu. They continue around the back stretch, and uh, meanwhile, out wide, it's Bold Adventure, then a margin of four back to Playful Hunter to the inside. Now, Spike and Bull is advancing up on the extreme outside, Battlestown, and now Flint at the back of the pack. The quarter was 22 and three fifth seconds. It's Busy Ride shows the way by three parts of a link. Bold Adventure is second. Dr. Albert is third. My Sweet Babu, the Philly taking on the boys. The big favorite is fourth and being a hard punch to keep pace there. Then four links for the back to Dime Dropper. Meanwhile, Playful Hunter's on the move as they continue to race around the turn the half 45 and one it's all busy ride in complete control of the quarter pole bold adventure is second the favorite my sweet babu has four links to raise and at this time she's in heavy water as they're just outside the eighth pole and busy ride still there she's on the wrong lead but she's in front by four my sweet babu has found her feet but with a 16th left to go she's not going to beat the boys today but busy ride is going to break the maiden Busy Ride, blinkers on today was a trick. All the way up top, another speed horse wins wire to wire here. And Busy Ride stops the timer in 1, 16 and 3. Number four, Busy Ride control the temple up top and takes this field gate to wire to make the eighth start the winning one. The son of Fezbiz adds the blinkers today going gate to wire owned by Alfred Pies and Joe Deegan, trained by Joe Deegan, Rodney Prescott with that perfectly proportioned ride. Busy Ride, 880, 360, 320. Second the seven, My Sweet Babu, third the nine. Old Adventure finishing fourth was the eight battles town. Exact the thirty dollars to try two hundred twenty nine twenty the double one thirty nine sixty super one thousand seven seventy four even running time for the winner was one sixteen and three. Let's look at the third race from Turf Way. It's a non two claimant event for five thousand dollars to go a mile. Take out the two thirteen and fourteen. The favorites include the one Toronto, the eight Run This Town, and the ten Native Flora. Flora has made the point, shows away by a link. Toronto stuck to the inside as Lil Pistola has that one hemmed in from the outside in third. 
Then comes a stack em high from between horses. They start to close in now. CJ's Billy's Empire, it's game time. And Hoosier Eve being shoved along as the half mile 48. And one. Then we trail back six lengths to Native Sam, who's on the move. A length in front of Corbin, still two to run this town. And Ice Music at the back of the pack, continuing around the turn. It's Native Flora still there. Stack them high up to the outside in second. Now clear sailing for Hoosier Eve. The big long shot's going to try to split horses from third as they race around the turn to the top of the home stretch. And it is Native Flora who took them three quarters, 113 and two. And will spin on down a link to the good. But here, Stack them high presents a challenge to the outside. And Stack them high up and after. After the lead as Nada Flora still trying to box on and battle back. It's stack them high to the outside. Nada Flora to the inside. Late on the scene from the outside is Swifty Sam. But stack them high is trying to get there and hold off. And stack them high will. Stack them high defeats Nada Flora right on the wire. Then came the Swifty Sam. And it's game time in 140 and 2. Number 12, Stack Em High runs down the pace header and gets him right on the wire. Stack Em High and Gerardo Corrales win by a hard fought head and returns 29, 20, 13, 48, 60. Second, number 10, Nato Flora, third, the 9, Swifty Sam. Fourth was number 6, it's game time. The Superfecta, 7,984.60. Pick three came back $346.85. The exact at 142.40, try 7.11 and 90 cents. The double $183. Tonight's fourth event is a Philly and Mayor Condition Claimer for $5,000. It goes six furlongs. Take out the 1A and 2B. The favorite, number 10, Bruce Tooney Toss with Rafael Hernandez. They are racing. Quick start for the inside for Alma Fuerte. Also quick in stride. Hard hustle. There goes Rosebud's Tiger. And from between horses, Spoofy Doo emerges as they head up the backside. And also, dreams are passable. So up the backside they go. Phillies and mares uh, with four and a half furlongs to go. It's Rosebud Tiger just narrowly from dreams are passable. Alma Fuerte against the fence from third. Spoofy Doo is fourth. And a margin of a length and a half back to Bruce Tooney Toss and Rafael Hernandez fifth. Baronet to the inside six. And a length for the back. Flash me not followed up by Robotron. And then three lengths for the back as they head into the far turn is 131. They continue to race around the turn. The first quarter, 22 and 2. There goes Dreams Are Passable has opened up a length lead. That's all for Rosebud's Tiger. All of a sudden, Alma Fuerte has come off the fence. She's closing in at the leaders after a half of 45 and 3. It's Dreams Are Passable tackled to the outside by Alma Fuerte. Up the inside is Baronet as they're inside the final furlong. Dreams Are Passable drifting way out in the center of the course. Alma Fuerte trying to get by her. She has a 16th to catch. Dreams Are Passable. Alma Fuerte is second. Dreams are passable is the winner. Dreams are passable on Poly Debut. Wins by almost two. Alma Fuerte was second. Then came a Robotron in third. Number two, Dreams are passable for the Woodland Farms. Gets her first Poly Track victory in her first try. Well prepared by Sippy Gutierrez on the slight drop in class. The winner was ridden by apprentice Joe Ramos. 1060, 660, 440. Second to three, Alma Fuerte. Third to nine, Robotron. Fourth, 10, Bruce Tooney. Toss. Exact 42.40. Try 124.70. Daily double was 104.20. The super 978.80. Pick three 223 and 65 cents. Running time 111 and three. Tonight's fifth race, the 36th running of the featured stake event. It's the $75,000 guaranteed forego stakes. They'll travel six and a half furlongs. Scratchy also eligible. The favorites include number three Lanier and number seven nonetheless. They are racing in a 36 running of the four go stakes. All away in good order. A quick beginning for King Daddy on stateside debut is hustled out. There goes unmoored up the inside. First growth away in good order. Now Lanier comes on through from between horses. Then it's King, excuse me, correction, Glenwood up to the outside. Shakes Creek even further out. Kitten's Cat is away in the seventh position. Then a link for the back, Gettysburg. Too wide, it comes Hemp Pimp Hooray. Tucked in is nonetheless. And Calaric is at the back of the pack. The quarter was fast. 21 and 4. There goes Unmoored. Shows away three parts of a link. King Daddy to the outside. Lanier keyed up and keen to go on from third. On the move to the outside is Glenwood. Three wide. Shakes Creek to the inside is first growth. From the backfield, here comes the closers. As Glenwood emerges up to the outside, it's Hemp Pimp Hooray. Half mile, Torrid, 44 and 1 fifth second. King Daddy back up and after the lead. Uh, unmoored to the inside second. Three wide is Glenwood. On hold in between horses is Lanier as they straight away to the top of the home.
home stretch. Here comes Glenwood up and after the lead, but nonetheless got the trip to the outside and sweeping up and after the lead by the furlong pole. It is nonetheless on the turn back off the shelf by the 16th pole is in front by two. Glenwood up to the outside second, but nonetheless. Well prepared on the return to racing by Cipriano. Contreras wins the forego by just about a length. Glenwood was second, and the running time was 116 and two. And it was the multiple stake winner, number seven, nonetheless, who rallies from well off the pace and sweeps off cover turning for home and does enough to win here on the turn back. Well prepared off the layoff, nonetheless, a sunny candy ride. Owned by the Contreras Stables Incorporated in partnership with Crystal Racing Enterprises, trained by Cipriano for his second victory on the card, and Rodney Prescott with a perfectly timed ride. The winner returns $9.52380. Second 11, Glenwood. Third number nine, Hemp Hemp Hooray. And at finishing fourth was number four, Calorette. The exacta was $71.20. The try, $444.80. The double, $53. Superfecta, $13,198.20. The pick three, $321.35. The pick four, $1,728.30. No winners in the pick five. That carries over $36,600. However, four or five returns $165 each. The running time for the winner, 116 and two. The trophy presentation being made by our director of racing, Mr. Tyler B. Picklesheimer, making the presentation to the connections of number seven nonetheless. Alongside Cipriano Contreras and jockey Rodney Prescott. Tyler Picklesheimer with the presentation. We move on to the sixth race tonight. It's a Philly and Mare 18 to 16 claimant event. They'll sprint three quarters of a mile. Horses to watch number two, Sundress, and number eight, Don't Stop Maria from the Doug Danner Barn. They are racing. Quick start for Cantastic. Also up on the outside, Don't Stop Maria jumped well. Tia Fours up and after the face, and from between horses, it's Sweet and Wicked. Then Sundress away in the fifth position. A link for the backs is entrusted as they continue to run up the backside. Then a margin of two look the other way in the seventh position. And at the back of the pack, parking ticket is eighth and trailing. Seven links tip to tail. They pass the half mile pole, three across the course to the inside Sundress. In the middle, Cantastic. Three wide comes Don't Stop Maria. Out in the clear, look the other way, advancing from to fourth, up and after the lead. Sweet and Wicked could not quick it. She's back into fifth. Now on the move, entrusted to the inside. Parking ticket with a wide angle, and Tia Flora has been taken back to the tail of the field. The quarter was 22 and three-fifths seconds. Sundress still there. Three wide. Here comes Look the Other Way. From between horses, don't stop Maria. Parking ticket is finishing with interest, but she's in about the sixth path as Sundress cuts the corner and spins him in. Uh, Sundress off the turn, but here comes Look the Other Way, who presents a challenge, but three wide. Swit and Wicked is gaining ground. Many chances with a 16th to go. And here comes the Indiana bred Sweet and Wicked forging to the front. Sweet and Wicked, well ridden by Rodney Prescott to give him two on the card. Look the other way with second. Tight photo for third. Sundress or parking ticket in 111 and one. Number five, Sweet and Wicked. Well ridden by Rodney Prescott for his second straight victory on the card. This nine-year-old uh, daughter of Borrego wins for owner trainer Felipe Salas and she pushes her earnings to over $300,000. The Indiana Bread returns 1380, 680, 440. Second the one, look the other way. Third the two, Super Pack 1,753 even. The pick three, $98.35. Exact to 86.80, the try 185.50, and the daily double 101.60. The running time for the winner, 111 and 1. Tonight's seventh race, an $8,000 claiming event to go a mile. Take out the eight golden gift, the favorite, the veteran, number two, Mr. Chow, with Alvin Jimenez. Out wide is keyed on top, advancing to the inside, Creative Courage, in a space of two to Northern Lock. Now on the move, gets Schnell, then a link for the back to Mansoor, and taking the slow road, hasn't started his running yet, but he is only about 12 links off the lead now after half of 47 and two. Mr. Chow, the veteran 10-year-old son of English Channel, shows the way. His extended lead to a length and a half. Huckleberry Hill still chasing from second. Three wide. Hard in hand. Four wide comes Keat on top. Meanwhile, Creative Courage is going to cut the corner. Three quarters, 12 as they turn on down for the money. Mr. Chow in search of eight lifetime wins. Here comes Creative Courage probing up the fence. Hard in hand down the center of the track. Late from the backfield, Mansoor, but with a 16 left to go. Mr. Chow just kept going and going. Mr. Chow, the little ATM machine, is going to win by almost three and get his eighth lifetime victory in his fifth right here at Turfway, and he'll stop the timer in 138 and three. 
Number two, Mr. Chow squeezed on for some early speed and he wires the field here. The 10 year old son of English Channel gets it done for owner trainer Tommy Humphreys, Alvin Jimenez, the winning jockey. 744, 23, 20 on the winner. Second, the six man sore. Third, the three creative courage. Finishing fourth, number four, hard at hand. Exact to 62, 60. Try 348, 60. The double, 58, 60. Super 3,795, 40. Take three, $53.15. Running time for the winner, 138 and three. We move on to the eighth and final. Made in Philly, three old claimers to go a mile. Take out the 4, 11, 13, 14. The favorite on the stretch out. Second time starter, number two, remission for trainer Ethan West. Remission in a good spot, uh, racing along the rail. Big margin back to Deer Theodosa, and then similar margin back to Fred's Baby Doll as they're well strung out as they head up the backside. And then still another, I'd say, 10 or 12 links back to Hoptown Hope at the back, the half 47 and 4. Tamisana still shows the way. Three parts of a link. Mountain Melanie's moves into second. Princess Mary Kate is third. That's all for Sunrise Memories fourth. Here comes Remissions. Kicked it into top gear. She's moved into fifth as they took the half 47 and four. Tamisana shows the way by their quarter pole. Mountain Melanie's out in the two path while racing second. Princess Mary Kate third. Uh, Remission has kicked it into top gear. She's fourth and about a length and a half off the leader. She's going to angle to the outside of Mountain Melodies as they straighten away to the top of the home stretch and here comes Remission uh, up to the outside of Mountain Melodies who's found the front outside the 16th pole. It is Remission sweeping up after the lead. Remission drawing away from Mountain Melodies late on the scene from the backfield. Dear Theodosa but down to the wire. Remission. She puts it all together today on the stretch out. She wins going away by about three. Mountain Melodies was second. It got tight for third in 142 and three. And number two, Remission, your favorite, delivers in the nightcap. She's owned and bred by Robert Hunt, trained by Ethan West, Leandro Gonzalez, the winning jockey. 640, 362.80 on the winner. Second, the 12, Mountain Melodies. Third, the nine, Princess Mary Kate, finishing fourth was number 10, Fred's Baby Doll. And fifth for the high five goes six, Dear Theodosa. The exact at $20.60, the trifecta $121.40. The double of pair of twos returns at $28.60, pick four $235.25. Super $1,734.40, pick three $69.45. No winners in the single six, that carries better than $6,500. And no winners in the high five, that's almost a $6,000 carryover. Running time for the winner was $141. Well, that wraps it up for this Friday edition of Racing from Turfway. From all of us here at the track, thanks for tuning in. This has been the Turfway Park Report.